The Detroit 3 has been part of our automotive vocabulary for quite a long time. Now there's a new expression, the K2, the Korean 2, Hyundai and Kia. And month after month, the Korean 2 continue to march up the sales charts. And it's no wonder with beautiful cars like this. This is the stylish and stunning Kia Optima, which has won awards already for its great design. This is an important car for Kia because about 20% of all cars in Canada sold are mid-sized cars. They have a regular gasoline version with 200 horsepower, a very quick turbo version that uses regular gasoline, and now this hybrid. We're in the New Spay on Vancouver Island. We're going to take this new Optima hybrid, drive all the way to the west coast of Tofino and back, see what kind of mileage we get, and find out what it's all about. The Optima has won a fistful of awards, including the prestigious Red Dot Best of the Best Award, thanks to head designer Peter Schreier. The Optima certainly has a look that could be mistaken as German due to the athletic stance, classic detail, and uncluttered approach to the car design that will appeal to driving enthusiasts. The car looks like it means business, even in hybrid trim. Now, Kia didn't want to change the design to make it a hybrid. In fact, they have a simple approach to the way they build their hybrid system. I think the most important thing is, uh, is basically in our design architecture. So we've constructed a hybrid system that is unique uh, from anything else in the marketplace. Uh, there's a, there are a lot of different designs out there, um, but ours is uh, elegant and simple. Um, we have uh, peak horsepower that's uh, higher than anything else in the segment, uh, 206 horsepower. Um, fuel economy uh, uh, that is basically class leading uh, on the highway, so um, uh, we feel really proud of what we've done. Now, Kia has a starting price at just over $30,000 for the Kia Optima Hybrid. They've kept it simple in order to keep the cost down. But how exactly did they achieve this? One of the things about our system is that it's, uh, it's very modular. So we have a, a, a design that allows us to use pieces that we use in other vehicles, like the six-speed automatic, um, like our Theta 2 2.4 liter. Uh, with very minor modifications, we can package everything within that same system and yet end up with a fully functioning uh, vehicle that can drive in electric-only mode at 70 miles per hour or 120 kph. The most noticeable difference between this hybrid system and most others is the ability to use a regular six-speed automatic transmission instead of a continuously variable unit. This produces a drive that is similar to a regular gas car. This style of hybrid might appeal to more people, but with hybrid sales relatively flat, why did Kia bring a hybrid now? Well, the uh, the Optima Hybrid really is just uh, it's just so it's so appealing in so many different ways. I mean, yes, we're talking about a vehicle that's beautifully styled. It's really really well equipped, and it's really fun to drive, and it's a very safe vehicle. I mean, just throughout a great vehicle. Uh, to answer your question, really, the share of hybrid isn't really uh, expanding currently, but I think we really are seeing that there's going to be potential for growth, and it's especially since it's our first venture into the hybrid uh, market, I think it's a, a great proposition, and it shows uh, our potential for growth in, in the future. At the very beginning of this segment, we talked about the different models of Optima. You can get this beautiful car in many different flavors. The base model is going to be probably the most attractive to people in the low 20s with 200 horsepower and all these good looks. Then you get the turbo, which is an absolute rocket to drive. And now a more efficient model, a hybrid, the very first one from Kia. And for a first effort, this is a very good job. It's smooth, it's refined, it's quite powerful, and it gets the job done. It's not going to be the volume seller for Kia. They know there's only going to be a select few people that want a hybrid Optima, but for those people, there's now the option. Thinking about buying a hybrid? See all our reviews 24 hours a day at drivingtelevision.com.